Garmin Tax Training has a really killer feature where you can upload your GPS files and ride them in real life with a 3D model. I believe in the past they used to have Street View, but they took that away. But it is still a really cool footage feature, and I think it's one of the killer features if you don't want to do anything like Zwifting. But in order to do that, it is a little bit confusing, so I'm going to show you how to do that. First off, you need to have an SD or an HD plan. The free plan does not include this, unfortunately. So the SD version of the movies is $9.99, and the HD version of the movies is $13.99. Still a great value compared to other programs like Zwift and Trainer Road, which are essentially $20 a month. So it depends on what your program wants to be. There's a lot of pros and cons to Trainer Road as well as Zwift. And this one, I think for me, is a really a killer feature if you want to do this and you don't care about riding with anybody else and you just want to ride your routes. So in order to do that, you have to subscribe, of course. And then the next step is to go to cloud.tax.com which i will put in the description below because they don't really tell you how to do this so you're going to go there i'm going to show my screen share as we go through and just show you what you do so you're going to click import gpx wherever you put your file on your computer you are just going to click on that one and you're going to press upload what's going to happen from here it's just going to give you some normal settings if you want it low recommended just keep the normal it's completely fine it will take a few to process the overall workout, so I will skip ahead in the video. And then after that, after it says upload complete, you're going to open up the tax training app. Go to the GPS file under the new ride, and you will see all of your GPS files there. From there, all you're going to do is click into it. You want to ride, it's going to show your profile. The average grade is kind of messed up. I'm not sure why it's like this, but it will show it after the fact. And then from there, you're just going to click start. Make sure everything is connected and you are off and running with your GPS ride. And I'm going to show you some clips up here from another GPS ride that I did from where I'm from. And it is eerily similar. I think that you probably want to take the GPS file from your head unit instead of Strava just because it depends on how you're tracking it, but it will show a 3D view of like Google as you go through and your trainer difficulty or the trainer setting does seem very, very realistic when I was writing it, which I think is pretty cool because it, you know where you're at on those type of things. And then uh, it kind of takes you back to when you're riding there before. It's a very, very good thing. And I think this is just one of the killer features that tax training or Garmin tax training does have over other platforms. I believe that uh, Ruby kind of does this. I know Zwift doesn't do it. Trainer to Road doesn't really do it. But this is a really cool feature outside of the movies. And I'm going to be doing a full review on tax training because I've been using it putting it through its paces. I have been a Zwift user for a while, which there's a lot of pros to Zwift. I really do like it. There's a lot of motivational things, but I just want to try this because I've had a Neo for three years now, four years, and it's just great. Anyways, thanks for joining me today. If you haven't yet, please subscribe, give my video a like, and until next time, I'll, t I'll see you on the next one.